when the registration opened on October 1, 2016, 2,700 slots were sold out in just 22 minutes, and an additional 600 were put on the reserve list. Clearly, this year's race is the most anticipated event of the year in the triathlon community, and next year will be even bigger. Welcome you to the province of Cebu and to the city of Lapu-Lapu. Uh, we look forward to all of you uh, enjoying your race and seeing you at the finish line. On behalf of the city government of Cebu, Honorable Mayor Thomas Menya, we assure you all the athletes of their safety and security. You know, this is our ninth year to host Ironman 70.3. It's our sixth year here in Cebu. And the enthusiasm of Filipinos for triathlon continues to grow. So what we're seeing is that people are embracing the challenge of Ironman, of triathlon. We're creating a healthier nation. And uh, as you probably heard just recently, we will host the Asia Pacific Championships in 2018 back in Cebu. Well, the big news was on Tuesday, we announced the first full distance race that'll be held in Subic. We opened registration on Tuesday, and in 24 hours, we sold out all 1,000 slots. Uh, that's, that's epic. It really puts um, the Philippines on the triathlon world map. Ironman will continue to grow within the country to places we haven't been before. We're very happy about the turnout. Dati parang napaka elite. Ngayon, it's a sport that everyone can actually participate in. Yun lang medyo may kamahalan ang pagbili ng bisikleta at si kailangan lahat kayo magunong maghimangoy para maging part ng triathlon. Kaso it's the step eh. Yun nga yung sinasabi ng mga triathletes. Nasa willingness talaga to learn the sport eh. Kasi kung hindi mo pa susubukan, hindi, hindi mo malalaman kung kaya mo hindi. So ang tunay na lakas talaga ang gagaling dito eh. So, puso talaga. So, puso at katawan. For this close to 3,000 people, this is their annual pilgrimage. It's a journey that they have to prepare religiously. Just like what Father Clement did, a 45-year-old French priest who was sent to Cebu for his missionary work. I used to come years ago for, in Cebu to teach philosophy. And coming from the airport, I could see each time the poster from the Iron Man. And I thought, wow, if one day I'm sent to Cebu, I will do the Iron Man. This is the cross he chose to carry. And there's a purpose why he wanted to endure a hell of a 70.3 kilometer pain and suffering. Maybe you have heard about uh, a nun in the US. She's called uh, Sister Madonna Butler, and she's called the Iron Nun. If I can just add something, uh, what I discover in this kind of endurance sport is you can do it and pray at the same time. Uh, a reason why I'm doing it, honestly, the, it starts at the beginning of the race. I've done some race before, and so, very often it's the, in the morning of the race that I decide exactly the, the intention. For these Singapore-based Cebuana sisters, Kimberly and Mai, triathlon has become their bonding moments. I first joined um, Ironman last year as a, as a cyclist for a relay team, supposedly with uh, my brother and sister. I got inspired to actually join the pool as well. I actually enjoyed training a lot. I really couldn't imagine joining an Ironman. Sometimes I, I think I want to be better than her, so I have to <laughs> perform better. So when we train together, we push, we push each other to do better. Triathlon is very challenging but it's also very fulfilling. I'm just happy to be part of it. Happy to um, uh, represent yun nga, uh, uh, being a healthy person at a uh, healthy lifestyle, yung exercise, and new active lifestyle. People from all walks of life come here to experience a one-of-a-kind event. Each one of them has a unique story to tell. There's a sense of community here that bonds them together. Their stories may be different, but it is united with one common goal. Serving as a prelude to the big day are two shorter races that make this weekend a family event. The Iron Girl and the Iron Kids. Already on its second year, the Iron Girl was organized to give the wives, girlfriends, and female supporters of the Cobra Ironman 70.3 triathletes, their own race. The 
following morning, it was the Iron Kids' turn to shine. You know, we're really great with uh, happy about the, the growth of Iron Kids over the years. We've seen more and more kids come out. We've tried to encourage the youth to adopt a healthy and active lifestyle. Year after year, we can see, continue to see more kids come out. It's important that parents support that because, you know, you want your kids to be healthy. And part of that is you start when you're young. One, goal for my last race in Arik, it was to, to be first because it's going to be a momentous event for me since I've been competing in Arik for seven years. I think that's a fulfilling goal for me to finish my last Arik race at the top. After an illustrious seven-year career in the Iron Kids, Badikid is now setting his sights on the bigger stage. New Olympic Games. Next year, we have to train for like three months in Malaysia to the Philippines, switching back. I'm gonna compete at the qualifying. If I qualify there, I'll go to the Youth Olympics. Okay lang pong hindi pa manalo agad. Lahat naman po, they didn't come here as champions. They need to work hard for it. Borlaine, on the other hand, remained heads and shoulders above the competition as she finished her race close to four minutes ahead than her closest pursuer. Nicole Marie Del Rosario. What matters to me the most is my family. And, this, and family for me is Alaska, my family, my siblings, my parents. And um, dominating doesn't matter for me. It's, it's that I'm happy with what I'm doing. Maniket and Borlaine represent the future of Ironman. It feels good and I'm just happy that every... Um, my family supporting me, Alaska supporting me, Light and Love supporting me, and the support's what keeps me going. I want to focus in my studies, and I will continue running, but I'll be back. It's a tight family knit and sense of community that draws people to join triathlon, aside from the healthy lifestyle. And Iron Kids laid that foundation at an early age to ensure the healthy growth of the triathlon community in the country. We want to teach him the discipline, being, uh, aside from being healthy and athletic. I get to improve my skills as, as an athlete. Well, joining the, the triathlon is, uh, you know, the never give up attitude that I want to instill in my, my teenager. It's a fun event for, you know, for, for kids. Alaska gives an opportunity to athletes to excel. I like triathlon way better. Because I'm happy doing that than video games. While these Iron Kids enjoyed the support of their families, some weren't as lucky. But they were blessed to have found a family that they can call their own. We started the um, working with the orphanage somehow simply by the team building. Eventually, na lang siya na nagustuhan ng management, especially ng ng higher property namin na gusto siyang i-adapt. We're the, uh, doing different with uh, different activities with them such as yung, yun nga, yung team building, yung mga sustainable activities like so for hopes, the Iron Kids. It started when last year when we had a ride out with the kids. I saw them um, um, some potential kids who can represent the orphanage and show that the triathlon as a sport um, does not mind whether you're rich or poor. So it's uh, going to break the barrier of being triathlon as an expensive sport. They were able to finish strong. It's not what they have or what you have. It's the life lesson that you will learn in the sport because it also teaches us not to give up despite the problems or challenges that we encounter.
the 2017 Cobra Energy Drink Ironman 70.3 Philippines would like to thank Shangri-La's Mactan Resort and Spa, Move and Pick Hotel, Mactan Island Cebu, B Resort Mactan, Crimson Resort and Spa Mactan, Waterfront Airport Hotel and Casino Mactan. <laughs>